Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Today we're going to be reviewing Attack by Playmatic, made in Spain. Uh, good looking table. Please look for our review underneath the description of our video. A little triangle there. Click it. You'll see our numbers as well as uh, be prepared for some light uh, commentary throughout our gameplay. Please like us and follow us on Arcade Pinball Talk groups on Facebook, Arcade Pinball Talk on Instagram. And you see that little red button down there? It's not red for any reason other for you to go ahead and click that right now. Subscribe. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Anyway, first impressions, I mean, some of these Playmatic tables, I mean, for it being an older kind of setup, uh, they, they're really cool looking. I mean, they're rounded out. This is almost like the rounding out of a Beatles table to the upper edge of this table. And what that does is it just steers that ball right to the, the ball out area. Makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but as you get with some of these older tables, no real soundtracks to it. Uh, what I will say is some of these Playmatics that I've played, uh, mechanically I've actually played some of them in real life. Uh, I've actually been playing a lot more of them on virtual pinball at this point, seeing that they're just very hard to find. A lot of these have a wide paddle gap. When people talk about paddle gaps, uh, you know, Ghostbusters comes to mind, right? That's, that's, that's basically it at this point. People say Ghostbusters, wow, oh my god, it's got to be hard. It's one of my favorite games besides Iron Maiden at this point on a mechanical machine. Uh, but with that said, uh, these older Playmatics do have a wider paddle gap, uh, and it, see, right there. I mean, that's the reason why. Ball out, put some more tokens in. So that's how this table's set up. The table art is great. It looks, it looks good. I mean, it looks really, really good. Uh, Galaga back into it as far as sounds. It's what you'd expect. Uh, the theme is good. The table mechanics are good. Uh, you have ramps to the right. You have an open ba uh, gate ball that's just sitting there. You got to hit it, and it's almost like a Pirate Man move. Hit it as hard as you can to get it back to the back of that target. And so we'll try to hopefully hit that here shortly to, to try to engage that and see what happens. But this this game right here is definitely a, a pretty cool pretty cool find. I mean, you know, the odds of finding it out in public are probably very rare. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, realistically, the the replayability of this game. I would say is there. It's it's a, it's a good looker. Uh, it's very unique in the way that it's set up. You know, it's also very unique in how fast you can ball out on this table. So that just makes it a little bit more. Now difficulty. Uh, I would say this is a moderate to light difficulty. Just because of the way that it is set up. Uh, you have that rail that I just went up to the right. I mean, that could come in handy or it could cause you some harm with that ball coming down at you. But so far, this is a table that delivers. It's definitely a definitely a decent table. So yeah, Attack by Playmatic. Definitely worth a look if you get the opportunity. Um, again, like us, follow us, Arcade and Pinball Talk group. Uh, you could also find us on Arcade Pinball Talk on Instagram and go ahead and click that subscribe button. I mean, we got a ton of content from not only machine, uh, pinball machine reviews and gameplay, but also to virtual. Uh, we do both. But anyway, thank you again for watching today, and uh, we look forward to our next video with you.